So I'm going to kind of cover over mitosis. And mitosis is a process that our cells use to replicate. Um, mitosis, just to note, I think it's important to know that mitosis is identical. Um, when the cells divide, at the end of mitosis, the DNA is replicated. So or I should say the genes are replicated. So there's no variation in genes, unlike meiosis, which students may be learning at the same time as this. Now this is a little graphic that I found over mitosis, a simple graphic just to kind of begin. And mitosis begins with a process called prophase. Prophase, um, I'll get into this in detail in a second, but the cells or the, the cells contain DNA. DNA forms chromosomes. The chromosomes kind of move apart to different ends and then they, the cells replicate. So the cells split in the middle. It makes two cells with identical genes and that is the process of meiosis, kind of in a simple term. A video I found on my mitosis is pretty informative and I wanted to share it, kind of narrate it as we go along. And this is credits to uh, McGraw-Hill Animation, by the way, online. They make a lot of science videos and really help me out during biology to study. So really help some students out when they're studying complicated things like this. It's pretty hard to understand at the start. Gives you a visual over things, which I'm a visual learner and it really helped me out. So mitosis, it begins with, I guess the whole mitosis phase is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So mitosis is the term for the cell division or replication. And there's four different phases within mitosis. Um, begins with prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and also cytokinesis, but it's not showing it here. I'm um, in prophase. Prophase begins when the cell uh, in its nucleus has DNA, and this is kind of showing a fast forwarded version, but DNA forms chromatids, which form chromosomes inside of the nucleus. These are centromeres, and they play a part in this cell division as well. They're joined together by centromeres, which connects two chromatids to form one chromosome. The centrioles form microtubules, which will be used within the division later. And Towards the end of prophase, the, I guess at the beginning of metaphase, centromeres go to opposite sides of the cell and um, the spindles join and the chromosomes, this is metaphase by the way, I'll fast forward it just so it gets to metaphase. And the way that so the way I remember metaphase is in the middle, the M, I just represent that as middle. And yeah, that's the chromosomes move to the middle in metaphase. The centromeres go to opposite sides of the cell and the, they're joined at kinetochores, the spindles attached to the kinetochores. And yeah, they all line up in the middle of the cell. On the metaphase plate and on anaphase when anaphase begins the chromosomes split at the kinetic cores the spindles start moving to opposite sides of the cell 
and they're doing this so to prepare for the next phase, telophase. And the way that I remember anaphase, um, students can use this uh, kind of comparison, I guess, is when the chromosomes or chromatids are moving away from the metaphase plate, away anaphase. And that's kind of how I remember that. And as you see here, the chromatids split at the kinetic cores. And a question that I have would be, is this, what is uh, the same color of chromatids representing in the cell or by the split, this animation, I guess? Uh, kind of describe what the same color of chromatids is representing. And it's something I talked about earlier in the video. And telophase, telophase is the final phase of mitosis when the cells split, uh, the one cell. After the chromatids moved opposite sides, there's a furrow in the middle, a cleavage furrow. And this causes the one cell to split into two, it cuts off its own cytoplasm pretty much. And at the end of telophase, the two new nucleuses and also the centromeres. As you see, one centromere went to this cell, one centromere went to this cell. Um, the two new nucleus, nuclei, nucleuses, nucleus, have uh, decondensed the DNA or the chromatids to have a decondensed DNA once again. And this is kind of the point where the phase can restart. So as you see now, we have everything that we need to restart mitosis. And that is how cells can divide and replicate to make things on your body. Um, only certain cells actually make cells that are used for various things. Usually cells replicate by mitosis. And that is all for my description of mitosis.